So about 36 hours after the pain shots, which I guess would be kind of like trigger shots in the muscles. Um, this morning, those areas were more relaxed and I could actually move my neck and my shoulders a little bit more. But there's a paradoxal similar to when in Portland I had the um, THC CBD soda. It relaxes the spasticity, but in turn, paradoxically, the muscles in my body at joints where that starts screaming. So it it almost worsens as a reaction to pain. That area doesn't hurt, but other areas start screaming. Um, the pain gets so bad it makes me nauseous. So I was alternating Tylenol and Aleve, which I don't do well on NSAIDs. Um, put a message in to the pain doctor. Of course, it's a holiday weekend here in the United States. So I probably won't hear anything until Tuesday. I had one um, Tylenol number three from a tooth surgery that I took, and it lowered my pain from like an eight to maybe a four, four and a half. So I took tenazidine, which knocks me out. That's why I don't like taking it. You know, it's kind of like you want to manage pain when you have the side effects of weakened muscles and your body just starts screaming from that. I found that my upper internal muscles, um, probably my um, deep muscles that keep me upright are the ones that are very um, spastic right now. Similar to earlier this week when I had my um, lower rotating, you know, stabilizing muscles that gave me trouble and I had to be in the chair. Miserable. Um, I can tell you about this, but once again, my channel is more about my journey and the emotional, mental, physical, not physicality. Um, I have this thing, you know, yes, I have a rare form of ALS. And I'm five years in, and I'm still walking and talking. Not great, but I don't want to turn it into, look, this is what happened, like I'm a monkey. Because I'm not, I'm a human being, and I'm ex but I have ALS. And this is a terminal disease that affects my life, not only physical, but it's emotional, mental, and spiritual. And, um... This is really me, so I'm going to do for what my boundaries allow me and not feel like I am a chimp or a monkey going through this, like in a zoo where everyone watches me. Um, I'm sharing the deeper aspects of this disease, and you know, you don't hear me going into my religious beliefs heavy, you don't hear me going into that, but I go into my life. So the trigger pain shots, probably not the best thing. I was concerned about my um, neck falling. No, um, I am weaker and you takes away some of the spasticity and the body screams, the muscles that um, are put into working. Um, I don't know if it's pressure because I feel like my body is that severe spasticity, like I'm under pressure. You relieve it and everything screams. I've been taking my um, vitamins, you know, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin C, and some turmeric with black pepper, hopefully to just whatever inflammation or, you know, stuff is to exhaust that and drinking a lot of fluids. On top of it, as I'm in pain and dealing with this, I wanted gummy bears and I broke a tooth. One of my molars I was going to get removed. Side effect from IL-2, um, part of the Koya, there's dry mouth. So that's one of the four I'm losing. So I already had one. This is going to be another one probably on Tuesday. Go to the dentist and get it, the root removed and the rest of the tooth. I have one more, two more after that. So side effects, you know, people want to be in some of these clinical trials. You know, you have a terrible life-altering, life-ending disease, and you want to try everything. There's side effects to everything, folks. Um, I, I take teeth side effects versus, 
you know, sudden worsening um, progression after you get off the drug. That is a side effect. It can kill you. So I'll work on getting partials. Oh God, expensive. But, um, and maybe dentures later. Joy. <laughs> so um, thankfully, the pain cycle is a little bit dampened. It's just miserable. Um, you know, you try, it's kind of like robbing Peter to pay Paul. You try one thing and it causes a cascade of other things. So this is the second time I've been in pain crisis within six months and having a moderate to high level of pain throughout the month. So miserable. I just need to find the right combination of medications and they don't knock me out that allow me to live and enjoy the time I have. So this is my documentation of my ALS journey in pain. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't dig inside and show you guys where the pain's coming from. And I'm working on my boundaries with how much I want to show of my life and this disease, because talking about it is someone that still has their speech is important to me. My life experience with it is important to me. Eventually the physicality of it will become even more obvious. And I just don't want to, you know, look lassie, jump tricks, do this, do that. That's just, no, that's not what I want to do. Well, the end of August, may it be better in September. There's hope and I'm trying to find beauty and a little bit of awe if you can. There's great things out there. All right, talk to you guys later. Boo on the trigger shots. Um, still on the journey to advocate for myself and find comfort going through this. All right, guys, take care, bye.